वेलकम बैक टू आई टी एंस सो आई होप यू गाइज आर गोइंग टू द वीडियोज एंड यूर लर्निंग इन द राइट प्लेस लेट्स रिव्यू वॉट वी हैव कवर टिल नाउ या सो वी स्टार्टेड ऑफ विद विद बेसिक्स ऑफ पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग वे वी रैन थ्रू सम पी पी टीज एंड देन वी टूक ऑन विद सम ऑपरेटर्स वी एक्चुअली डिड सम सेशंस ऑन अरिथमेटिक ऑपरेटर्स एंड नेक्स्ट वन वॉज असाइनमेंट ऑपरेटर राइट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर एंड लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर्स या सो वील ट्राइ टू कवर बोथ ऑफ दम टूडे एंड दैट शुड बी द एंड ऑफ द ऑपरेटर सेशंस विथ टूडे गोइंग फॉरवर्ड नेक्स्ट इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट सम मोर फन स्टॉप या Welcome back to ITNs. So, in this session, we are going to look at logical and relational operators. Yeah, let's first begin with our uh, relational operators. So, what are relational operators? Okay. So, relational operators are used to compare two quantities, and they can also be referred to as comparison operators. Yeah. Relational operators are used in Python code. to create a condition and accordingly the flow of the program they will always result in true or false so so what is true or false i mean in in programming language they are also called as boolean yeah so they can be used uh, in the outcome of your uh, codes yeah and accordingly you can uh, decide with uh, what needs to be done uh, so those are the things like uh, the looping statements those are the things that we are going to cover in our future uh, sessions but for now uh, just uh, remember these things um, in the relational operators uh, the outcome should be uh, true or false and uh, accordingly you can uh, use them for your uh, programming codes now let's give a start with an example okay so we'll assign a value uh, x and y is equals to 5 So we saw this sort of an example yesterday, right? Where we are going to, I mean, where the value of five is assigned to object x and value of seven is assigned to object y. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, great. Yeah. Now what we can do is we can put as x is less than y. What do you think, guys? Okay, the value of x is less than the value of y. Y is that uh, correct? If so, I'll put as. Um, I mean, if so, then it should be output should be true. Let's see. Yeah, great. Okay, now let's look at the value the other way. I mean, x greater than y. Should it result as false? Let's have a look. Great. Now you also note that the output true and false. Yeah, the T is capital in true and F is in uh, F is capital in false. Yeah, this is this is an observation which uh, I mean which I wanted to highlight to you. Okay, the the reason is uh, that Python is case sensitive. Yeah, so you need to be sure that when you're using the code uh, in your program. you have to be sure that uh, if you have to use the output value is true if true for example if you have to make a statement if true then perform this if false then you have to perform these steps okay so then you have to be sure that you using the proper case so that's why it is so important yeah okay um now let's take another example okay i want to introduce one more uh, concept here yeah Now let's take one more example. I want to introduce one more concept here. X equal equal to y. Now what is equal equal to sign here? Okay, uh, we saw in the earlier session 
when it was x equals to y where equal to sign was an assignment operator here it is a relational operator yeah so we are we are, we are checking if x is e equal to y yeah so let's see and answer is false yeah so yeah so in, if we type in x equal to y what will be the outcome so what has happened now is we have assigned the value of y to x so if we give the value of x uh, if we if we uh, want to know the value of x we gain like this and now see you see the value of y is assigned to uh, which was 7 is now assigned to x okay but we, we were not uh, wanting this right so let's assign the value of x equal to 5 okay so i wanted to show you the difference between x equals to y and x equal equal to y okay now x equal to equal to y is your uh, relational operator right okay great okay uh, similarly we have uh, uh, we can use one more thing um, let's check if the value of x is 5 now yes uh, now we have the value of x is 5 great uh, like how we used x equal equal to y and came as false there is another uh, syntax which we can use x not equal to y okay so exclamation sign here is the symbol for not yeah so th this means like uh, we, we are asking python if x not equal to y yeah let's see and the output is true that means i mean we, we are in the right track right uh, 5 is not equal to 7 so the output is true yeah now let's talk about logical operators right so what are logical operators so logical operators are used to make i mean to compare two statements okay and accordingly there will be an output a boolean output that is true or false right so there will be two arguments and it will compare and then it will provide if it's a true or false right now uh, in logical there are three types of logical operators one is and second one is not and the third one is or okay let's talk about each of them let's start with and okay um, let's talk with and okay so remember guys uh, all this python is a case sensitive uh, we can't use and uh, in caps it has to be uh, in small letters right now we know the value of x right uh, that is 5 right and y is 7 right now let's see i mean what do we meant about logical operators right so if we put as x is less than 6 okay the value of x is less than 6 and the value of y is greater than 4 that means the value of x is less than 6 is that statement true it is true yeah and y greater than 4 the value of y is greater than 4 is that statement true the answer is true correct so true and true the output should be true yeah right now let's try and uh, twist this sentence okay i just copy and paste instead of less than sign i'll put as greater than sign oh, sorry uh, instead of greater than sign i'll put as less than sign and i hit enter so it has become false right this part was true this part was false so one was true and the another one was false the output was false okay so the concept with the and operator is if it the output will be only true if both the both the parameters are true both these conditions are true yeah in case if any of the condition or in case if both the conditions are false then the output will be false right 
for example x is greater than 6 and y is less than 4 okay we, we can see that x the value of uh, x uh, that is 5 is greater than 6 that is false and value of uh, y that is 7 is less than 4 the output is false okay and both the uh, with the logical operator the the resultant will be false yeah so again um, if both of them are true then only it will be the output will be true if both of them are false then only the output will be false right so that was and operator right now let's look at the another operator that is called as or operator okay so for that uh, okay I'll, I'll comment it as or okay so that is another uh, logical operator um, okay so for that let's look at the example yeah let's look at the first example I'm just copying it here yeah? in this condition in this case in this example both the conditions are true isn't it oh sorry I have to make the change as or both the conditions are true isn't it so the output should be true right right now let's take the second example okay uh, so x is less than 6 true y is less than 4 false so it is true or false so the output in this scenario in the earlier scenario both should be true then only the output will be true in the or it is opposite in this case both were true the output was true in this case one is true and one is false the output will be true right now let's take this third example okay so in this case both the output is false both the conditions are uh, both the uh, output of the both the conditions are false so both are false so output will be false yeah right I'll revise I mean let's let's touch base again for and logical operator yeah both conditions sh should be true then only the output will be true in short yeah in or operator both the conditions should be false then only the output will be false okay right so there is the difference uh, in um, in between the two operators yeah? yeah between the two logical operators yeah? now let's touch base on one more operator that is not now what is the use of not not is to negate the outcome okay uh, for example we thought x is greater than 6 so is it true or is it false false right yeah now let's put not x is greater than 6 okay so it is the negating the output so here we saw the output was false and if you use not it will be true okay so that is the advantage, I mean that is the use of a not logical operator yeah so those were the three uh, logical operators which we wanted to cover uh, uh, so I mean I think uh, we are good for today uh, we have covered relational operators uh, in the above example and later on we covered logical op operators yeah all right uh, I, I call this for um, I mean all right so let's uh, conclude our session for today uh, I hope you guys are catching along and in case if you're facing any problems you can always go back and look on those videos you can go back to the previous video and uh, come uh, come back on this one yeah okay so I hope you guys are 
deeply engrossed with this session and getting more clarity uh, to whatever we have discussed till now right you may feel free to present uh, or post any questions in our um, on that uh, on the channel uh, so that you can um, we can always uh, come back with the answers right also one thing i wanted to touch base on uh, uh, guys uh, there is only a small difference between a a programmer and a pro programmer right and we all want to be a pro programmer right i mean so there is a small difference between a programmer and a pro programmer the difference is programmer can write all the codes right he has the understanding of the language he can write like um, right so a pro will write the same code with the minimum number of lines right so that is what our motive is going to be we want to write the codes in the minimum number of lines yeah so that's what we are going to achieve in the coming sessions right we are going slowly slowly bits and pieces so that everyone is uh, i mean we are, we are want everyone to be a pro programmer uh, from the basic to a pro yeah so that is the uh, motive of this right okay so stay focused and stay tuned uh, please subscribe to the channel and hit on the bell icon to get uh, notified on the upcoming videos right watching and keep learning thank you